So listen, yeah, I have a big deal going on, or a big idea. Not such a big idea, but uh, I'm really getting worried. And it could just be that I'm watching it in Facebook. Facebook, if you watch Facebook and you don't go outside, you're going to think the whole world is like up in flames and that people are killing each other and everyone's rioting and every store is being looted and uh, the hospitals are full and whatever else. I mean, stupidity, stupid upon stupid upon stupid lives in Facebook. It's pretty shocking what people that are in Facebook will believe. But, you know, along with Facebook being open to the worst news possible, which isn't even real news, they have, uh, they have the television on, just running and running in the background. And even if you're not, you know, like paying attention to every moment of it, you're getting that. Your brain is just taking that in as if it's real. And it's so not real. August 1st, all day long, wherever it is that you live in the whole world. If you are in the Americas, if you're in the United States, if you're in Canada, Brazil, Hawaii, wherever you are, stand up, be heard, let your government know. If you don't believe them anymore, if you ever believe them at all, you don't believe them. There's no reason to believe them. It's like a horrific nightmare that we're not able to wake up from. And I see the garbage that people are talking about. I'm like, that's not real. That's not what's happening. Because you know what? It is not what's happening. They have not isolated a virus. If they had isolated the virus, rather than just some RNA and a little bit of exosomes, if they had, they could take that and they would take the people that were supposedly sick from the virus, could check to see if what the people supposedly have, does it match what they are calling a virus? They're not doing that. They are not doing that. Simply put, not being done. Why? Are they afraid that there's no way for them to actually show you or show doctors or show the, the governments of, of your countries? Because this is the United States and WHO and Bill Gates and Fauci, Gavi. It's such a horrific lie. And if they showed you what they have actually found, because they have found nothing and they've tested essentially nothing because they've had no trials. If they showed you that, you'd freak out. Your government would freak out. Whatever you have as far as your government, they would all freak out. They'd be flipping out if we didn't give up our president. And to tell you the truth, I would give him up. I'd give up him. I'd give up Bill Gates. I'd give up Fauci. I would give up all of these guys because they deserve it. They deserve to be turned in. They deserve to be jailed. As far as I'm concerned, they deserve to be hung, but I'm not really, I'm not really a death penalty kind of chick. What we need to do is stand up. You know what? Write your list of grievances. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm saying what you can do. You can make a list of grievances that you have against this government or the world governance or against Fauci, the WHO. Gavi, all of this, even the CDC, who's been actually telling quite a bit of truth lately. You'd be shocked at how much truth they're telling. Well, you wouldn't be shocked because you know that now they're not being allowed to have any connection to anything. And you're not supposed to be paying attention to them because if you do, you're bad. <laughs> Don't be bad. <laughs> but do be bad. Anyway. Yeah. I'd give that all up. I would turn them all in. Heck, put them in Guantanamo, right? Why not? I mean, do they have, have they done anything positive for any of us? I don't think so. I think they are on their high horses and they are collecting money out the yin yang because to them, money is their thing. To them, money is power. Money is everything they want, baby. So take the money away.
here's what I think is really happening. If you want to know what I think is happening, what has brought this about. It's money. <laughs> it is money. Uh, the Fed, which we have been trying to, to get them to end for years upon years. And the damn Fed, really since the 60s, you know, any rational individual realizes that the money that the Fed loans to us so we can pay it back with interest. We really can't pay it back. We only pay back interest. That's where your taxes go. Paying interest. There's no way to ever, ever, ever balance the federal budget with the Fed doing this monetary bullshit. And they're running every one of our countries. You want to know who's really, who's really running the world? Look at who's running the money. Well, it's not all that hard to figure it out. Look at the Fed. And it's not the face of the Fed. Not that one person that puts her face out there and says, It's me. You'll never know who really runs the Fed. You'll never know who really runs any of this. Because their faces aren't really out there. The highest up I think you're ever going to see with this crazy global governance is Henry Kissinger. He's it. He's been running the USA, geez Louise, since the 60s. <laughs> oh my word. He has been in the White House without a job hmm, since the 1960s, baby. <sighs> He's had a lot to do with what I grew up on and through, and you too. And it's time to say, uh, we've, we've had enough, dude. We've had enough, no more way too much for any human being to accept so don't accept it don't let them do this to you don't let it continue slaves wear masks you are putting on your own mask you are enslaving yourself you are reminding yourself that you are a slave that you are working for the government yeah you're reminding yourself that they're in charge. Every time you put that stupid thing on, so don't do it. Same thing with your anti-social distancing. Social distancing is oxymoronic. Obviously, if you want to be social or sociable, you won't be distancing yourself from people. You'd be doing the opposite. The Bill Gates oxymorons are way into doing the social distancing. It's so dumb. It doesn't protect anyone from anything, just like a mask doesn't do a damn thing. Science is out on all of that. <sighs> Together apart. Yeah, which means locked up in your house. Which means no vitamin D. Which means no fresh air. No getting out and seeing people. No human contact. No human contact. When's the last time you touched another human? When? I mean, really, think about this. When is the last time you had physical contact at all with another human? That is soul crushing. Don't let them do that to you. You're going to kill yourself if you, if you do what they say. And you won't be the only one. There's plenty others. Plenty others. And it's not just suicide. It's overdoses. It's drinking yourself to a point of obliteration. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's go down to your capital. Let's go down to your city hall. Let's go down to your Congress, your Senate, your State House, your Parliament. Let's go. Let's go to your palace, right? Whatever is closest to you, or if you can get there, if you can take a day trip, but get to the closest place, please send emails or messages out to your friends and your family and ask them to please do this. Stand up. The whole world can stand up. We can do that. It's free. We are free. 
We have to prove to them that we realize that we are free. Because if we don't, they're going to make us realize we're not. Or that we are a lot less free than we were. Do this for your kids. This, oh my God, we thought the world was bad six months ago. Look at this shit. Can you even believe it? Can you believe that we're accepting any of this? Oh my hell, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why? Don't keep taking it. Push back. All right, it could be the day of pushback. It could be anything you want to call it. Make your own protest. In Austin, I am making on the 1st of August a Together Apart protest because we want to be together with the whole world, even if we're forced to be apart. Okay, guys, I really, really hope you'll do this. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for whoever you love. All right, dudes. Talk to you soon.